So when I found out this news, my stomach basically, you know, fell out of my body. The Pro Bowl wide receiver of the Giants, Steve Smith, has left the team for the Philadelphia Eagles. This is a huge problem for the Giants. I mean, everybody thought that Smith was coming back to the Giants. It was sort of a foregone per conclusion. The Coughlin was talking about how Smith was going to rehab, and, you know, he was basically sounding like he expected to have Smith with the team this season. I didn't hear from anyone talking about Smith. He basically went under the radar, but I think this is one of the biggest moves the Eagles made this season. I know they got a bunch of press from Namde Asma, and he's one of the best cornerbacks in the league that was deserved. You know, they made a bunch of other good signings. They got the D lineman from Tennessee. They signed Vince Young, who's big and basically name only now. But this is a huge signing especially since they took him away from the Giants. Smith and Eli had great chemistry. He would always look for him on third down. You know, after Burris left, Smith basically became Manning's go-to guy. Now, I know we still got Hakeem Nix and Mario Manningham, but even with the chemistry Eli has with those two, Smith was his go-to guy. They can just, like, look at each other and they knew what was going to happen. And he was a clutch player. He came up big in the playoffs and the Super Bowl. And on third down especially, he was one of the best slot receivers in the league. Now, Smith leaving along with Boss, this puts the Giants in a tough situation. They don't have an NFL tight end. I know they have Travis Beckham, and I have no clue who else they have. I don't think anybody else does. But it's not an NFL caliber tight end. They have Hakeem Nix, who is a young but good wide receiver. They have Manningham, who is, you know, decent. He can, you know, get shut down occasionally. And then I really can't think of anybody else that's quality on the team as far as an offensive weapon. I mean, I left out the running backs. You know, Bradshaw is average, maybe a little above average. Jacob's, you know, a nice power back, but still kind of average. You know, they can get inconsistent at times. But receiving-wise, they really don't have much left. I mean, between the combination of Smith and Nix, I thought it was going to be, you know, for the next couple of years, a nice receiving core, but with Smith gone, that's a huge hole in the offense. Now, this is going to help the Eagles greatly. Now, Smith, he's probably not going to play for a while. He has a big problem with his knee. And that's the only excuse I can give the Giants, is that they think he's never going to be the player that he was a couple of years ago. And who knows, maybe they're right. Maybe, you know, the Eagles just wasted $4 million. But if Smith does come back, and he is the player that he is, and they can put Macklin and Jackson on the outside and have them run deep routes all day and then just have Smith go across the middle of the field, that is a very formidable offense. The only knock on that is that they're all small receivers. But they have some very talented receivers and they just made a huge upgrade with Smith. I think this acquisition, because it made the Giants significantly worse, is actually one of the biggest signings of the Eagles, and I think this makes them the preeminent favorite. I know it sounds stupid that, you know, Smith and not Osmoa, but this is a big deal. It's huge.